Alzheimer's is basically a problem with related to memory and your day-to-day -day routine starts get, getting affected. The patient tends to forget things. He may not remember simple things of recent past like uh, forgetting his meals, where does he has where has he kept his uh, articles, whom uh, he met few days back he may not remember, whom he made a phone call recently he may forget. So it is not typically that old things we tend to see in the uh, movies that person tends to forget uh, his old past. That is the last thing to go in Alzheimer's. The typical symptoms of Alzheimer's will start with recent memory issues as I just enumerated. It is important on the part of family, family members to identify these symptoms in time because once these issues get more complex, it is more difficult to handle them later on. First of all, many a times we don't understand, we take these routine memory problems as, as part of aging because Alzheimer's typically affect patients who are in an older age bracket. Apart from that, we need to understand that Alzheimer's happens because of the cell degeneration within the brain. The neurons of the brain starts shrinking over a period of time. It affects your memory. The neurochemicals which are made in the brain uh, start getting deficient over a period of time and patient starts uh, uh, having memory problems and behavioral problems. Along with that, his daily simple activities may become a Herculean task for him to perform. So, uh, this is by and large the degeneration of the uh, neurons within the brain is a progressive problem and because of this, we should need to understand that Alzheimer's is a progressive disease. Over a period of time, the patient's symptoms will, will worsen, his memory problems will become more prominent, he will need assistance in performing his daily routine tasks like maybe simply bathing, eating, cleaning himself, dressing up, so all these tasks, he, he will become progressively more and more dependent over a period of time. On part of family members, it becomes a lot of responsibility because most of the time it is a situation in which you are adopting a grown-up child. A person who is, who is not able to take care of himself, he doesn't know where he is, at times he doesn't know what to do with simple things in the house, household, he doesn't know how to use the mobile, he doesn't know, he forgets and leaves the door open, he is not able to place his finances properly. So all these tasks which appear so routine in our daily uh, daily work becomes majorly affected in such patients. So we need to have a lot of patience and compassion dealing with such a situation. It is not easy for family members to accept their parents or their near ones in such a situation because these have been the people who have provided support, mental and as well as physical support to us as uh, as we were growing through our, our childhood and even in our adulthood they provide us with genuine suggestions and to see them in such a situation is very difficult and understand that uh, how to proceed with them. So it needs a lot of resilience on the part of family members that they, they should not uh, lose their patience and temper on such situations. There are moments in which these patients tend to get very agitated, they become physically violent it is difficult to restrain them, they may not stay at home, they, may tend, they tend to run away from the home. So it needs a lot of patience and mental courage on the part of family to, to, to deal with such situations. Sometimes a uh, simple hug to the patient, simply talking to the patient may help and try to pacify him down. And of course there, there are medications which may help to arrest these violent episodes and patient may be more, um, made more calm and manageable at home. So, uh, these are certain aspects of the disease which we need to get, take care of. Some certain simple precautions like uh, uh, locking up the doors of the house because there are tendency for the patient to go away from the house without informing. They don't know, they lose their ways, they are not able to reach back home. So in such a situation, it is always better to keep small diaries with important contact numbers and address of the patient and important identification. Uh, marks of the patient to be in the, that diary and his pocket all the time so that in case he lo loses his ways there may be people around who may help him to get back to his home. Uh, apart from that it is very important that during the night times these patients tend to have confusion episodes they may get up in the for the uh, washroom but they may not land up into the washroom they may roam, roam around in the house so it is very important that they don't uh, hurt themselves you may leave the electricity 
uh, certain lights open in the important areas, and you can you can you tend to remove all the heavy articles from their way, which may potentially hurt the patient in case he uh, falls or in case he bangs them on the objects. So these are certain simple tips which can be followed on a uh, day-to-day basis. Any kind of fever, cough, or uh, burning urination, or uh, foul smelling urine should be uh, treated at, on the early basis. The reason being, uh, these are infection is one of the very common problems in Alzheimer's, which tend to deteriorate in Alzheimer's very fast. The patients over a period of time will become more dependent and it is difficult to handle infections at home. You should try to seek medical attention on the earliest and on priority in such a situation. Apart from that, these patients need a lot of encouragement. We should try to uh, make them uh, more um, happy. Maybe we can do simple uh, small gatherings with close relatives and try to... So this, these patients in familiar surroundings, they tend to behave more uh, um, in a more compassionate way. And surroundings which are not familiar, preferably should be avoided for these patients because, because they tend to become more agitated in such a situation. One very important point is that we should not ask direct questions which challenge your memory. Like, we tend to ask, if there is some uh, close relative who is uh, visiting the house, we tend to ask, Bataye kaun hai? Ye kahan rehte hai? We tend to ask this kind of time, uh, time uh, type of direct questions, which sometimes patient, uh, it, may, it is a very embarrassing situation for the patient because they are not able to relate, recollect those names. Even if very close people may not understand. So we tend to avoid, we should tend to avoid such questions in uh, public gatherings and in, in case of uh, uh, some family function. At home, since such a situation, we need to be more careful. As far as the medication is concerned, the thing is there are medications which are available for Alzheimer's disease. A lot of research is going in these areas. Whatever medication is available till day, it tends to slow down the progress of the disease. But at the same time, we should understand that uh, disease is progressive. The progression rate may slow down, but ultimately things will happen over a period of time. So. Uh, Medication has its own limitations, but nevertheless, some patients do tend to show improvement with medication, this time being stabilization and the progression of the disease, and they tend to benefit from the medicines. And in this case, the medical supervision, a timely medical supervision may help the, the patient uh, um, as the disease progresses.